Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add the stairs and also we added some furnitures. Now we're gonna continue working on this. So what I'm gonna focus on is the kitchen. I would like the kitchen to be facing on this wall so we will have this wall facing right here um, this will be like a glass door so that to open up the um, the backyard right here so now I'm gonna make it leaner like this and then all of this will be space for the island and whatever we're going to put there. So now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on component drop down. Here we're going to use model in place and then look for generic model. Press OK and it's up to you if you want to change the name. I'm just going to leave it at generic model number one. After that, click on extrusion. And then from here, I'm going to create extrusion using rectangle. And I want to make sure I will give a, a gap for the fridge. So I'm going to put it like this. and I'm going to move it a little bit on the right side so we could have something right here maybe a breakfast nook or whatever we decide later on after that I want to click on this line here I could set it as 650 or around 7 is good enough and then click on finish and then here we could set up the, the material and then here I'm just going to use like a wood wood finish So I'm going to click on wood, I'm going to use ash, and then click apply, OK. And then from here, I know it's going to be 900 from the uh, bottom to the top. So I'm going to put that at 900, and I'm going to click on finish. And then here, I want to add the fridge right now. So. I'm going to insert load family and then here we could go to specialty equipment and then domestic and then mid-range and we have the fridge right here click open CM spacebar and then I'm going to just add it right there I can push this one back like that AL I'm gonna align it at the back right there and then here I'm going to click on edit I don't want to show the label and then click apply and then OK next thing is actually I'm going to add the boat case with with a, a combination of convection oven so I'm going to go insert again load family and oven and microwave or the combination 
so I'm gonna look for that this one double oven and then CM I'm gonna press on spacebar and I'm going to add it like that select that add the type I don't want to show the label so I'm gonna uncheck that AL to make sure that they are aligned so I'm good with that and then I'm going to push this one back a little bit so right now we could just move this one all the way right here and then we're going to add a case in this spot so now I'm going to add in a section this section will uh, will be able to see what's going on right here I'm gonna extend that all the way right here and then grab this and then flip this one to this side you can double click right there and then now I'm going to move this one above right here and then we will add a casing right about here as well so here in section um, we're going to click on model in place again generic model and then this will be number two I'm gonna go and add an extrusion I'm going to pick the plane which is this wall and let's use rectangle in order to add this I'm gonna s make sure that this is 2800 which is exact exactly what we want but at the same time I want to align it from the level 1 so now we need to push this back 2800 and then here I'm going to add an opening and then I'm going to align that right there and then here as well I'm going to add an opening at the same time we need to delete this SL and then TR trim and extend So in this regard, we did this, but here we need to da do this like that. So the 250 is not actually what we want right now, but we need to click on finish first and then change the material. I'm going to add a stone finish on this one. I'm going to use fill stone, apply OK, and then click finish go to 3d to see the extrusion and then here from here we could just grab the arrow and then just push it all the way right there to make it look nice let's go back here and then I'm just going to push this one a little bit back and then this one as well AL I'm going to align it from here and then if we see it in 3D it looks flush right there and it looks proper okay so now what I'm gonna add here is the top so we'll have a dining area here and then we're going to have a, um, a breakfast nook here and then at the same time we will have an island so there's a lot of, of things going on in this area but that's fine because it will look nice
so now I'm going to add a top for this one so here I'm going to just edit the extrusion part I'm going to click on create and then click on extrusion so this extrusion I want to set this one pick a plane and then the plane that I'm gonna use is the top of this extrusion part so once you set that you can click on rectangle and then you want to make sure that it's only 25 after that this will be another stone material so we need to change that and then click on granite cut polish for the material after that click on finish and then finish we want to see it it's looking right good and then now we need to edit this we're going to add the kick plate so I'm going to select that edit in place again but instead of extrusion we're going to click on void form and then void sweep after void sweep we're going to pick the path and then we're going to choose this path or we could select it using pick line that's easier after that click finish and then click on modify sweep again in order for you to have this option and then click on edit profile and then you can zoom in select rectangle and then create a rec rectangle going in so right now we it needs to go in so that we could void it here we could have 80 and then here we can do 100 so 100 by 80 that's fine for the kick plate click on finish and then here click here again click finish again and then now you can select cut geometry and it will be cut like that after that click finish again and then now we will add let's add um, basically I want to add here the cooktop so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to level 1 again insert load family and then we're going to use probably one of the cooktop right here I'm gonna click on open and then CM and we're going to add the cooktop just right here at the top I'm going to move this one just a bit in the middle like that and I don't want the label so I'm gonna select that edit type and then uncheck the label so that's good and then let's load in the the range so here we're going to go back so probably yeah let's we need to go back and then here mid range and then we need to sorry not mid range high end and we need to have this hood wall so range hood click open and then type in cm type in cm 
and then we're going to add it right about here and of course I don't want the label and then from here let's go to section again and then let's pull this one above just enough for the 2800 so just enough for that so now it looks nice and then we will create a cabinet at the top right here we could use the section so that we could base it from this face so again let's go to architecture and then component drop down and click on model in place let's save this and then once you do look for generic model and then press ok again and then press ok again now we're gonna create an extrusion and we're gonna pick the plane on this wall so press ok choose this wall and then now select this rectangle and then from the 200 we're going to add the cabinet above so AL I'm going to align it from this because I know this is 28 that's exactly the height that we need and then from here I want to set that there should be 850 and that's high enough and then that's good enough for here for this one I'm going to click on finish and I know it's not enough I'm going to need to change the materials again this will be ash same um, materials that we added from below um, actually I'm planning to just change it to a different wood so maybe Douglas fir will be good enough for this and then click on finish again go to 3d and then from here we could basically just move this one back like so if you want to be exact you could click on edit select that and then edit extrusion we could set it up as a as like this and then we could go to level one just to change the the width on that but as you can see we can basically manipulate the size instantly by using extrusion so I'm g just gonna leave it like that I'm just eyeballing how it looks and here we could just drop this one as well if we want to so we just need to go to section and then here you could change the height of those so that nothing is sticking out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it down so that at least this one is visible enough and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the backsplash so here again I'm gonna click on component model in place this will be generic model press ok and then ok again extrusion pick a plane same thing this wall and let's leave it at 10 and then here we need to change this one to tile I'm gonna use this press OK and then now we just need to add this rectangle all the way right here click on finish 
and then finish again now it's looking like this I like the way it looks um, in 3d if you want to see all the grills you just need to click on fine and then more detail will appear Now it looks nice. And then what we could do uh, as well is we could add something right here in the f in below. Um, I'm going to put in some dishwasher. So go to insert load family go back here mid-range and it will be under here so it's probably at the back here I end let's add in these different kinds of range you can even add this if we want to I'm just thinking where I seen that I know it's something right here so dishwasher and then CM we could add it in this face and then by just taking out that will be fine enough and then we could just edit type duplicate or uncheck here apply and then okay and then we could manipulate that to stick more later on so it will look like that and then we could push that back under our section if we don't if we see that it's not showing properly so I could go and push it back more later on so that everything is flush properly so that it's just showing the the door So we're going to stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.